Well, it's Halloween night for me. Hopefully you guys had a good night last night, partied, had fun, and whatnot. But now that the kids have all come and gone and my partner is retired for the night, well, we're going to open some Duskmorn. Oh yeah. And a collector booster of Ixalan. Uh, picked up this pre-release a little while back, and I was like, you know what, I'm probably going to want to get this right now while I can. And I'm glad I did. Because it's the only really spooky Halloween video that I can actually sell upload this season. But, you know, with House of Horror, I think we'll hit that mark quite nicely. And, uh... Yeah, let me hurry up and get at least this collector booster out of the way real quick. Oh, wait. So, wait, so... While we're at it. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, welcome to your new forever home. I thought about keeping this pre-release sealed, but that's pretty freaking cool. Got some one ones. Other fun tokens locked. Interesting tokens or punch outs. I'll take those out later. Cool. Alright, we got a nice little storage box with it. Hee hee hee. Oh, uh, and I will always forever be a dice goblin. Ten. Four. Twenty? Hey, twenty. Nice. And an eighteen. We like this die. We like this die. Right. Got a nice little art card. Antonio Jose Mazzanetto. Hmm. Well, that's cool. Token. We got three news, probably two lands after this. But man, okay. Oh, right. The pre release come with the, the stamp. So we got 2024 stamp. Legendary creature, human wizard. Toby Beastie Befriender. It's got beastie besties. Oh, Monsters Inc. Sully. And the little one. Nice. I dig it. Now, we'll get to the dusk one in a second. As far as let's get some shiny 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 beautiful cardboard out of this collector booster. Now there are some pretty creepy cards out of this set. So I don't mind including it with the Duskmorn. But I'm pretty sure every magic set definitely has its creepy cards out of it. Especially out of black. And to start with the beautiful dinosaur creature token. And dinosaur egg. And we can also possibly get... Um, Jurassic Park uh, stamped cards out of this, and that would be cool. We got Sage of Days, so that's a common. Kevin Stomper, a common. Primarily Old Norse, um, Hidden Cataract. Hermetic Nautilus. First uncommon, or was it our second uncommon? Oh, second uncommon. Gold Fury Strider. Oh, we got a 3-5 Trample. Tap 2 untapped Artifacts and or Creatures. Me. Another Uncommon. Alright, Sunbird Standard now. There is something to be said about magic artwork. It is definitely, definitely beautiful. 
Uh, it's three for... Oh, and then what does it turn into? Oh, cool. Well, that's nifty. The number of colors among the exiled cards used to craft it. Hmm. So it can really only be up to a plus five. And that is a swamp. That is a black swamp for Ixalan. That's pretty cool. Now, wouldn't it be hilarious? Wouldn't it be just so funny if I pulled a Monocrypt Crypt after it got banned and just got absolutely crapped on in value? And then we have... Uh, this was actually a commander that I believe I bought. Bedrock Tortoise. Oh, six. Hmm. As long as it's your turn, creatures you control have hexproof. Well, wouldn't that be nice? Hmm. A common poetic ingenuity. Uh, for dinos. Oh, treasure tokens. Wow. A borderless broadside bombardiers. I think this is the guest slot. Restless Prairie. I think I've sold one or two of these already. And what do we have here? We do have a Jurassic Park card. Not a foil. Not a, not a hollow stamp. But that's a good girl. Hunting Velociraptors. Nice. We got sets 3 2 first strike. Dinosaur spells you cast out. Owl. Help combat damage to a player this turn. Oh, oh, that's cool. Critzil's Flanker. 1-1 one, one counter. Oh, hmm. Gain 2 life, scry 2. Exile target player's graveyard. That's... Situationally funny or hilarious. Possibly necessary. But let's get into the spooky part of this opening. And like I said, I hope you guys are having a good one. Hope your Halloween went really well. If y'all dressed up, let me know what it was. I am a vampire every day, so Halloween is every day for me. Looks like they kept the comments to the front. Okay. Enters each player discards a card. If you discarded a card this way, draw a card. Mm, that could that could be good? Could be really bad. Grasping long neck, reach. We like reach. Gain two life when he dies. That's not bad. Counter target spells always good. And it basically gives something morph. Oh, trapped in the screen. Nice. Well, exorcist. Exile target artifact, creature, enchantment, and opponent controls until this one leaves the battlefield. Yep. First iconic. Oh, no, iconic. Uncommon. Uh, I've been playing TCG Shop Simulator. I will restart that series now that I have audio figured out and in much smaller bites. Definitely so my computer doesn't well, I didn't like that lot that, that two hour video. But hey, we got cynical loner. Three one can't be blocked by glimmers. Hmm. Search your library for a card. For a card. Put it in your graveyard and shuffle. That's could possibly be cool. 2-2 two, two Flying Lifelink, Fear of Infinity. It's like one of the ugliest like Ouroboros representations I've seen so far. Fear of Infinity can't block. Okay. Whenever an enchantment you control enters whenever you, you fully unlock a room, a room, you may return Fear of Infinity from your graveyard to your hand. So it looks like there's rooms. I wonder if it's like the uh, dungeon mechanics in, in for the Forgotten Realms. I like cards like this. 
Greenhouse, lands you control, add one mana of any color. When you unlock this door, oh, is this the room? Oh, this is the enchantment room. Oh, okay. Half that door unlocks on the battlefield as a sorcery. You may pay the mana cost of a locked door to unlock it. Either half. Okay, so you have to cast one first, and then you can pay the other one. Kind of like the adventure mechanic. That's cool. When you unlock this door, mill four cards, and return up two permanent cards from among them to your hand. Okay, not to the field, but that's to the hand. Oh, I see a pretty card back there. And Miasma Demon. Discard any number of cards when you do it. That many target creatures get negative two, negative two, two. That's a, that's a nice little fun board wipe. Hey, we got another. Oh, okay. We have a rare enchantment. Mirror room and fractured realm. When you unlock this door, create a token that's a copy of a target creature you control, except it's a reflection in addition to its other creature types. In addition to its other creature types. Okay, so I guess it keeps legendary status then I would imagine. If a triggered ability of you control triggers, that ability triggers an additional time. So is that cascade? That's that's kind of mean. Bleeding woods enters tapped unless the player has thirteen or less life. It's not going to happen early on in the game. Uh, appendage Malcolm, enchantment creature horror, flash three two. You get to surveil. And a gremlin token. Nice. Don't feed them after midnight. Or... Give them what? Give them water? Remind me, what was it? That was, you know, for Gizmo. Well, that first pack did not want to open up. Oh, and if y'all have a love for trading cards, uh, check out TCG Shop Simulator. It's actually it gets a little grindy in the twenty level level twenties, but uh, I'm hopefully here really close to hitting thirty. Why is it so bright? There we go. And uh, things should be getting a little bit smoother from here, but it's actually. Oddly quite fun. Uh, cautious Survivor. You know, the, the person at the end of the movie. Probably the only one that really survives. Dagger Mom Megalodon. Valgavoth's Evil Aura turned the shark from an apex predator to an inescapable terror of the deeps. Okay. Oh, oh, well then. No Ahab for that one. Shepherding Spirits. Uh, flying, plane cycling. Hmm. Grab the prize. An additional cost to cast a spell. Discard a card. Draw two cards. Hmm. Appendage amalgam. I believe this is the one we got in hollow at the end of first pack. Manifest dread. Top two cards of your library. One on the battlefield face down. Two two. Give it morph basically. Frantic Strength, uh, Flash Enchant Creature, uh, oh, and then it gets plus two, plus two, and has Trample. We like that. Uh, vengeful Possession, but with the new rules, I guess you're going to have to do that before combat phase and damage assignment. Uh, vengeful Possession, Gain Control of uh, Target Creature until end of turn. I love these kind of cards. Untap, it gains haste until end of turn. You may discard a card if you do draw a card. That's even better. Midnight Mayhem. Dude, straight. What movie is this referencing? Because this is clearly Gremlins. Like, I'm sure every single one of these has a specific movie that it's referencing. But we got Midnight Mayhem. Three 1-1 one, one red Gremlin creature tokens. They gain Menace. Lifelink and Haste until end of turn. See why it's uncommon. Unwilling vessel. Oh, Ghostbusters. Got it. 
Nice. We got another incoming room. Surgical suite and hospital room. Oh, we'll return target creature card with monarch value three or less from my graveyard to the battlefield. Nice. Whenever you attack, put a 1-1 counter on targeted attacking creature. That's also a fun, fun effect. We like those. Marina Vendril. Human Warlock. 3-5. Reveal the top seven of your library. Put all enchantment cards from among them in your into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in random order. Okay, so a bunch of uh, fresh enchantments. Lock or unlock a door of target room you control. So, obviously, commander material if you want to. Wow, all five. Want a five color commander? There you go. Just unlock and lock the doors at will. That's kind of that's kind of cool. Given what some of these do. Get something that would untap her. Uh, three, two, human survivor. All right. This is a pretty cool art card. Yes, it is. Exhume. Tim. Tim. Jacobus. Jacobus. No, I'm just kidding. All right. I should probably start speeding this up a little bit, huh? We don't have mini packs, but I actually enjoy going a little bit slower with the magic stuff because you can actually read the text. Uh, okay, counter target unless they pay two. If they do surveil, jump scare. Target creature gets two, two. Oh, gets flying, becomes a horror enchantment creature in addition to its other types. Okay. It's like a Chucky reference. Raggedy Ann. Uh, one tap target creature with power two or less can't be blocked. It's always fun, but one for... Yeah, I guess one. Uh, fear of lost teeth. Oh my god, the nightmares. Yeah. They, one target to them, one life for me. Survivor. That's gotta be fucking Ghostbusters. Enthropede. Uh, this is meant to be like a human centipede reference. I never watched the movie. Because uh, I don't like doing stuff like that to myself. Uh, that hurts. And and you know what? I'm never down for stuff like that. But <laughs> Enthropede, that, uh, that's some pretty wicked artwork right there. Discard a card to pay two when you do destroy a target room. Hmm. Hey, we got our first mythic. Sorcery expropriate. Council's dilemma. Starting with me, each player votes for a time or money. I think I've read this card before, uh, but in a different release. For each time vote, take an extra turn after this one for each money vote choose a permanent owned by the voter and gain control of it exile appropriate nobody's ever going to give me an extra turn but that's always a broken mechanic so we'll see what the value is for this bad boy in the edit but man that is crazy that just so if you're playing commander you could possibly get three turns if everybody just votes for you and just play like look if i can end the game in three fucking turns which pretty sure some people could depending on the power level of the group uh but yeah you're reverend gremlin mm. patchwork beastie can't attack or block unless there are four more card types among cards in your graveyard and of course, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may, you may mill a card. Right. So that would help make it live. Uh, commune with evil. Hmm. Top four of your library. Yeah, with me. 
You put one of them in your hand and the rest of your graveyard. I gain three life. Hmm. Stay hidden, stay silent. Uh, you know, that never works in horror movies. Uh, Ender's tap enchanted creature. Does an untap during untap step. Nice. Uh, shuffle enchanted creature into its owner's library, then manifest dread. Manifest dread. I'm going to have to look that up. Do we get... Did we really get two mythics out of this pack? I think. I'm pretty sure that's mythic. Reddish orange as an additional cost to the spell cast uh, to cast the spell exile six cards from your graveyard flying five five at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep manifest dread ah here's manifest dread look at the top two cards of your library put oh got it it puts the uh Oh, and if it's a creature card, you can turn it up at any time for its mana cost. Huh. You can literally just start throwing stuff under the field. That is wild. Here we got the Monkey Sewer. Of course, another 13 or less life. And a Hollow Frantic Strength. Nice. I, that's cool. Getting those two out of that one pack. We got into the Enigma. You know what? We're gonna put you guys here. And wait, also, did we get Kutzel's Flanker? Did get a Hunting Velociraptor Restless? Yeah, so no mythics out of this. Interestingly enough. Yeah. Just a bunch of uncommons and rares. Hmm. All right. Enter the enter the enigma. Mm, target creature can't be blocked this turn. Draw card. Oh yeah, can't be blocked. It's another just I'm gonna run you over. Friendly ghost. Supposed to be a Casper reference. Not supposed to, it obviously is. But man, what if Casper looked like that? Impossible Inferno. Did we get this one earlier? No, Derelict Attic and Widow's Walk. When you unlock this, draw two cards and lose two life. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, it gets one zero and gains death touch. Well, I mean, oh, it attacks alone. That would be nice if you could literally give everything death touch. Moldering gym and weight room. Hmm. A lot of rooms. Well, to be expected. Especially if you have somebody that can sit here and just lock and unlock rooms. You tap them. Uh, search your library for a basic land. Put it on the battlefield tapped. Good. Uh, when you unlock this door, manifest dread. Top two cards. Oh. Top two cards. Put it face down as a 2-2 two -two monster. Flip it up at any time for its mana cost if it's a monster. And then you put 3-1-1 one -one counters on that. Now when you flip it up face, face up for its mana cost, those three counters stay on it, right? So if it's like a 5-5, five, five, and of course it's going to be a 5, it's 2-2 it's two, two face down, so that'd make it a 7-7, seven, seven, and you flip it face up for its mana cost, those counters stay, right? Just curious. I would imagine so. Good lord, this is just the room pack. I might as well just keep it sideways. Glassworks in a shattered yard. Uh, red, of course, burn damage. At the beginning of your end step, this room deals one damage to each opponent. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And we are back to the yeah, upright cards. Uh, death touch, 3-3. Three, three. Eh, eh, plus one if creature dies this turn. 
Sheltered by ghost. Yep. Hey. Arabella abandoned doll. Legendary artifact creature toy. Whenever it attacks, it deals X damage to each opponent you have, and you gain X life, where X is the number of creatures you control with power of two or less. So a token generation deck. Red white. Gremlins. Gremlins is what you want to play with. Hey. And there's the shining. Here's Johnny. I know I'm horrible at impressions, so don't expect me to try one. And when I do, it's usually pretty goofy. But that's cool. Exile target artifact. Exile target enchantment. And then... Manifest Dread. So also, I guess, see Manifest Dreads have different clauses, like... The plus three, one one counters on it. Uh, Ghostly Dancers. Um... No. What would this one be from? Hmm. The ghostly Dancers enters, return an enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand, or unlock locked door of a room you control. So this with uh Alright. Obviously, being a multicolored deck, this would fit inside of it. Because uh, when this enters, return an enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand or unlock a locked door of a room you control. And then lock her and lock a door of target room you control. And you know, I'm pretty sure that's gonna that would synergize well. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, really hand in hand with Eerie playing right along behind it whenever an enchantment you control enters and whenever you fully unlock a room. And. Wow. Uh, you can make a lot of 3 1 white spirit creature tokens with flying. That seems like a fun concept to build around. This is going to be the rare pack, huh? Did Sprinter 2-2 two, two, Trample Haste? Oh, Black Red. Hmm. I was expecting Green Red, but yeah. Black Red makes total sense. Uh, <laughs> was it the um, World War Z zombies? Yeah. Night Living, Living Dead zombies too, I believe. Uh, you may cast Undead Sprinter from your graveyard if a non-zombie creature died this turn. If you do, Undead Sprinter enters with a 1-1 counter on it. Found footage artifact clue. Uh, you may look at face down creatures your opponents control any time. I like cards like this. Uh, sacrifice found footage surveilled too. Glimmer. Well, that's cool. Token enchantment creature glimmer. And manifest. Aha! You can cover this. You cover a face down manifest creature with this with this reminder card. A manifested creature card can be turned face up anytime for its mana cost. Right. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I have that burned into my brain now. And we only got two packs left. sure this is also another easter egg nod to a horror thing that I'm completely missing haunted shrieker Huntwood shrieker hmm. that's crazy looking we get our good old megalodon buddy again shepherding spirits we're gonna like start pacing through this real quick now Manifest Dread, yup. Seized from Slumber. Spell costs three less to cast if it targets a tapped creature. Destroy target creature. Man, you can destroy target creature if it's tapped for, and it's an instant. We definitely like these. We definitely like those. We just got the hollow for found footage. 
Valgavas Faithful, Human Cleric, uh, Return Target Creature Card from your graveyard to the battlefield, activate only as a sorcery. Eh, it's a pretty high cost for that. Then we have Disturbing Mirth, Xenobites? Yeah. When Disturbing Mirth enters, you may sacrifice another enchantment or creature if you do draw two cards. When you ma uh, sacrifice Disturbing Mirth, Manifest Dread. Okay. Orphans of the Wheat. Children of the Corn. Good job. Good job. Uh, whenever Orphans of the Wheat attacks, tap any number of untapped creatures you control. Orphans of the Wheat gain plus one plus one until end of turn for each creature tap this way. It's again, not bad. Entity Tracker. On you, man, that's Ghostbusters, baby. Just just look at that EKG reader. Okay. Think. EEG, EKG, F, I don't know. Uh, Flash, 2, 3, Eerie. Oh, draw a card whenever you fully unlock a room. Or an enchantment. Enters the field. That's actually pretty good. Oh, this one does not come into play tapped. We like these. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's definitely a good one. Rack is Carnival. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And, right, it's another one that enters uh, unless it has, unless you have 13 or less life. That does. And Growing Dread. Okay, this is, you know, for a late... Halloween opening. Uh, this is actually how I how the how you know the night. It's a good ending to a good day. I got to go to work and uh, help some clients feel very beautiful. And we got a flying spirit token. Talk researcher. It's got to be Ghostbusters. Cult Healer. Hmm. Yep, got me on this one. Uh, another Eerie. Oh, this is a different... So Eerie effects are different. Okay, whenever an enchantment you control enters and whenever you fully unlock a room, that's the same. He gains lifelink until end of turn. Bird. That's pretty cool. Boiler Bilge's Ripper. Hmm. Also lost on this one. Oh. Freddy Krueger. Got it. To any target. If it was to every opponent or something like that, that would be really nice. Uh, resurrect Cultist. Delirium. Return resurrected cultists from your graveyard to the battlefield with the finality counter on an oh yeah finality counters. It gets exiled, right? Yeah. Horrid vigor. Death touch and indestructible to end of turn. Yes. A blue one. Meat locker and drowned diner. Stun counters. Draw three, then discard one. Both really good. Clockwork percussionist. The monkey toy. Okay, it's like the horror monkey with the symbols. Exile top card of your library. You may play it until the end of your next turn. It's not interesting. Ball Mutilator. And of course, the demon. 6 5 demon. There's an additional cost to cast this spell. Sacrifice a creature and enchantment. Flying Trample. When he enters and each opponent sacrifices a non token enchantment, then sacrifices a non token creature. Yep, we like him. 
Yes, we like him. And then Diversion Specialist. 43 Menace. Sacrifice another creature enchantment. Exile top card of your library. You may play it this turn. Then we got Smoky Lounge and Misty Salon. First main phase. Add two red. Only to cast room spells and unlock doors. When you unlock this door, create X, X, Blue Spirit, Creature Token and Flying, where X is the number of unlocked doors among rooms you control. I can go either way on that one. And another room. <laughs> it's like a nightmare. And it actually has Defiled Crypt. Cadaver Lab. Uh, one or more cards leave a graveyard. Create two two black horror enchantment creature token. It only triggers once each turn. Boo. Now, when you unlock this door, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. It's a shame that first effect is only once per turn. Then we have a rare fear of missing out. Is that what is that what missing out feels like, guys? I gotta know. We got a 2-3. When it enters, draw a card. Oh, discard a card, then draw a card. And Delirium. Whenever fear of missing out attacks for the first time each turn, if there are four or more card types among cards in your graveyard, untap target creature. For the first time. Alright, so she can't just be like, untap herself and keep attacking. Untap target creature. Well, I had a fantastic Halloween, and I hope you guys did too. And uh, see you guys in the next one. <laughs>